Hello everyone, I'm Gil Ton. Welcome to my channel. This channel is dedicated to mastodon's acupuncture in Taiwan. And today I would like to talk to you about a set of points to treat the spine. They are located in Fofo area and their name is Straight the Spine Points. So stay with me. Okay, so straight the spine points, or in their Chinese name, Zhang Ji points. Originally, they were not published in Master Dong's book in 1973. Today, this uh, slide is based on uh, information coming from Dr. Fu Wenzi and Dr. Li Guozhen. However, I got to know these points about 10 years ago uh, from a book uh, entitled Advanced Stone Style Acupuncture, written by James Meyer. So James Meyer uh, was an American practitioner. He passed away last year, and it, it is a great opportunity to mention him because, to my personal opinion, uh, his book uh, is maybe considered to be the best source uh, in English language for Master Dong's acupuncture. I really like this book. It's a very clinical book and uh, there is a lot of uh, set, set points of uh, Dhamma uh, combinations. Uh, the moment you start to use these combinations in the clinic, you will see that the results are incredible. Uh, James Meyer uh, spent, um, uh, I'm not sure exactly how long he, he lived. He lived in Taiwan, uh, but he, he was uh, he was uh, fluent in Chinese. His uh, his wife uh, was Taiwanese, and they stayed in Taiwan. They studied with uh, Dr. Li Guozhen, and as well, I think they studied with Dr. Hu Wenzhu because he mentioned Dr. Hu in his book. And to my personal opinion, uh, this book is a must book in your library. Uh, if you cannot read Chinese, for sure. So the location of the points, uh, they are located in the Fofo area, in the lateral supracondyl ridge of the humerus. It's a set of three points. Zhen uh, Ji, Yi, Er, Dan, so one, two, three, the first, the second, the third. And it's located two tsun, four tsun, and six tsun, proximal to the lateral end of the transverse cubital crease. So basically, they are located uh, above large intestine 11, okay? In terms of the explanation of their name, so in Chinese, zheng has many meanings, okay? But one of them is straight or correct, okay? And qi, uh, qi could be translated as to reach, okay? But qi, uh, zui, it's, in Chinese, it means spine, okay? So therefore, straight the spine points. In terms of needling, it's between uh, 0 0.5 to 1 tsun perpendicular, and we use the three points together. The reaction area, it is the spine, the liver, and the kidney, and there is also a branch towards the heart channel. Okay, in terms of indication, so as you can see, these points are mainly treating bone disorders, and more specifically, spine disorder okay so whenever you have a spine disease okay these points are a must point to treat the root of the problem which is the spine itself so for example we have a sciatica due to herniated disc okay so we want to treat the spine in order to to solve the root of the problem we can address in our treatment uh, uh, points to treat the sciatica Okay, it depends on the location of the sciatica. However, at the same time, we want to treat the root of the problem. So these points are treating the spine. Okay, in terms of image, uh, reverse microsystem, these points are indicated to the lumbar spine and a straight microsystem, these points are imaged towards the cervical spine. So basically, in other words, uh, you can use these points to treat either lumbar uh, spine disorders or cervical spine disorders, but it depends with which other point combinations you want to use it together. 
Okay, so in terms of the image, so as you can see, this is four core area. And if we are doing the straight microsystem, so this is the head. So the head of the bone is the head. And then the area of this point are here. It is the lumbar uh, spine. And if it's a uh, reverse microsystem, so the, these points are indicated to the area of the cervical spine. Okay. Okay. So how to locate uh, Zhen Qi points? Okay. So this is the cubital crease. Okay. And this is the end, the lateral end of the transverse cubital uh, crease. So this is large intestine 11, right? So from this point, from large intestine 11, we are going up to two. Okay. So basically the first point uh, it's quite sensitive. Okay, when we palpate this point, we feel uh, uh, quite quite a sore feeling. Okay, so let's put a sticker. Then we can see the point more clearly. So I'm finding the lateral end of the cubital crease, which is large intestine 11, and I'm going up about too soon. I'm palpating this. Uh, crevice here okay it's quite sensitive it's on the bone okay and i'm putting the sticker so this is the first point and then the second point is too soon above so four soon from large intestine or too soon above okay so it's on the bone okay i'm, I'm looking for the right crevice Then the last point is too soon above. So ten to e r san on the humerus bone. Okay. In terms of needling, uh, quite simple as well. This is the first point, perpendicular. The needle can reach the bone itself. And the second point, Then the last point. Okay, so then this point is kind of it. Not that straight. Okay, ten T points to treat the spine. Okay, I hope you can see it clear. Okay, so in terms of point pairs and combinations, uh, this protocol it's an excellent protocol to treat. Uh, spine disorders, for example, herniated disc, lumbar herniated disc, with or without sciatica. Okay, it's a, it's a mix of different approaches. Okay, uh, the majority of them are coming from James Myers' book. Okay, uh, for example, uh, the point we are discussing today, Zhen Zi points in 4 4 area, and Fei Xin points from 1 1 area, Wan Shun points from 2-2 two, two area and bladder 65, 62 and bladder 60 and as well to uh, bloodless bladder 40 area are all coming from James Myers book. However, needling do 19 
okay? And the location of DO19, which I will uh, introduce to you in a minute, is coming from Dr. Wang Zhui in Beijing, okay? The late Wang Zhui, he passed away several years ago, and he used uh, DO19 uh, in the head in a different location and in a different uh, method uh, how to stimulate the point. Uh, so basically, for, for his point of view, do 19 uh, is an excellent point to open the do my to treat all kinds of disorders all along the do my. So actually, this protocol has an interesting and meaningful story for me. Um, mm -hmm. When I came back from Beijing, uh, I spent a year in Beijing studying with uh, Dr. Wang Jui, and. Uh, when I came back, uh, I got to know this uh, protocol from my teacher uh, and a good friend, uh, Sean Goodman in Israel. Uh, so there was one time I was, uh, uh, I went to his clinic and uh, I spent the day with him in the clinic. And then I saw him uh, treating um, some patient with herniated disc with this protocol. So uh, I saw him using uh, this protocol to treat herniated disc. And then uh, the next week uh, when uh, uh, I saw patients in my own clinic, um, I got a new patient. Uh, actually, I got a call from uh, the daughter of the patient who, who is my patient. And she asked me if I can uh, go to see her mom um, to treat her at her, at her home because she couldn't leave the house and she was in terrible pain and she was a candidate to have a spinal stenosis uh, surgery because she was in a very bad condition. So I agreed and I went to her place and um, uh, I thought to myself, hey, I mean, last week I saw uh, Sean using this protocol. So what the hell, let's, let's try. Okay, and I did uh, more or less the same protocol here without the eight, eight points uh, uh, on the tie. And uh, the results were like a magic. They were, it's, it was so significant. When I came to her, she was barely, uh, was able to open the door for me. And after about an hour of putting uh, the needles on her body, uh, she could uh, get up from the bed by herself and she was totally different. And I treated her afterwards uh, for about 10 to 12 sessions and uh, she had a significant uh, improvement in her uh, overall condition, in her pain, and eventually she canceled uh, the, the surgery. Okay, so this uh, uh, protocol I remember it quite well because uh, from that point of view, from that point of time, uh, I was very, very fascinated by uh, the ability of Master Dong's acupuncture. Um, and from that point, it basically changed my mind of how I am uh, thinking about this system of acupuncture. So basically, uh, the, the mixed uh, approaches over here is adding er jiao ming uh, to treat the spine as well, and to add uh, on, the, on the other leg, uh, one of the points in the eight area according to the root of the problem, according to your diagnosis. Okay, so basically, if we have a sciatica on the uh, right side, Okay, so this is the right side of the patient. So we can put bladder 65, bladder 62, and 60 on the side of the radiated pain. So it's kind of like a, a guiding needle point. Okay, so Yang Wei Jie um, is, is also a apprentice of Master Dong, direct apprentice of Master Dong. He developed this idea of a guiding point to put in the shoe stream point of the 14 channel. Okay, so bladder 65 is the shoe stream point. 
Okay, so if you have a sciatica on the right side, you can put this point over here and they will be kind of like a guiding point. Okay, but you put three points, not only one point. Okay, first, before you start the treatment, obviously uh, you flip over the patient, you check blood of all the area. Uh, it's a big area. It's not only the area of the point specifically, it's above and below blood of 40. And if you see dark, uh, uh, purple or, or uh, black veins, you should prick them. You should prick them and you should, you should flip them, okay? And then on the other side, we put all of these points on the contralateral side for the pain, okay? And uh, before we start the treatment, so before the patient is lying down, we put uh, 219 in the head of the patient, and then we ask the patient to lie down. Then when we finish all of these uh, points, we can put one of the tongue points in the 88 area, according to our diagnosis, okay? So if we suspect that the root of the, the patient uh, is suffering from, uh, he has some liver uh, deficiency, so we can put the liver point if he has any chi deficiency or lung chi deficiency, we can put uh, the lung point and so on. Okay, and on the other side, uh, on the free hand where we don't have needles, we can add other points to treat the sciatica. Okay, but in this case, I didn't have them because there are many points uh, here already. And this protocol by itself, it's an excellent protocol uh, to treat herniated discs with sciatica. So regarding DO19, okay, so Dr. Wang Ju Yi uh, located this point in a different location. Basically, this is the, uh, this is the lomboid uh, suture, okay, and this is the occipital fontanelle. So Dr. Wang is located this point uh, just in the junction of the lomboid suture over here. Okay, he's taking 1.5 soon needle and he's going a, a bit uh, above the point and then he's kneeling the point towards downward, okay? And he puts all the 1.5 soon, he's uh, thread embedding the needle uh, towards downward. And then he has this manipulation where he press the point, where he, 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 he's rubbing the point uh, on the needle itself and he's asking the patient to straight uh, his, uh, spine and, he, and his back, okay? And he's pressing downward. Very interesting uh, technique, very useful, very uh, 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 clinical uh, and uh, produce very good results. Okay, so as I mentioned before, this point here, uh, 219 has this ability to open the Dumai and to treat uh, uh, cervical and neck disorders, and also uh, lumbar and back uh, disorders, okay? It's a very good point to use for spine and back disorder. So if you like this video, please press the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share the knowledge with our community. Thank you so much for listening, and see you next week.